with it. Y'all got chips up. Boom, we up. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What's happening? No, nah, yeah, we got chips up. What's happening? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Should I share this shit. on my Facebook page? Please do. What's happening? Uh, what's happening, world? Uh, welcome to uh, another episode of Killing Yak Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun. We're in here at uh, Where Media Meet Studios in conjunction with VJ TV, Feral Films, History in the Making Entertainment, uh, also an uh, associate of the uh, Venus Lounge. I got. You know, this is a happy family we got here mm-hmm. doing what we do. Uh, it's a family, and I'm the grandfather. Like a motherfucker. You know, we here tonight chilling. You know, I got my Tay Diggs uh, jacket, smoking jacket on tonight. You know, I'm feeling royal in this piece. You know, Tay Diggs really had me fooled. I watched that movie, Stella Got a Groove Back. Yeah. So I'm looking at Tay Diggs what like, okay. Mean? Then yeah. I saw the real life dude that Tay Diggs was portraying, and I was like, the movie did not do Stella him justice. Needed, Stella needed her ass whooped if she didn't know what time it was with blood. Because he was a better boy. But I mean, it was clear and obvious. Yeah, he was on time right now. And I was like, but, yeah. You said ass whooped. Well, I'm, I'm going to let that slide today. I mean, and the reason why I said she needed your ass whooped is because one of the recurrent themes in her books are yeah. often that African American males mm-hmm. are trash, and many feminists mm-hmm. or so-called liberated women often run with that theme that the black man that's born and raised in America mm-hmm. is just a trash, misogynistic, horrible human being. So they say that you should go get an other, and that also includes black men of across the diaspora or whatever, right? So yeah. she went to Jamaica, mm-hmm. promoted this in her books like. Forget Tyrone. Go get Dexter St. Jocks. Dexter St. Jocks. Jamaica. But Don't she, let him fool you. But her, oh, dis- no. her discernment was so poor and her black American male hatred was so high that she was willing to settle for a man uh-huh. who was clearly effeminate. A better boy. And that's not... The, that's not that's not a, no, are you not, saying we, A-feminine? E-feminine. Um, E-feminine. E. Yeah, the proper spelling. Let me wipe off the ball here. But... It's like this. Different strokes for different folks, but uh, if you tell me what you do. that me that and my ill me. can't cool, and then you go get somebody worse than us, then you got a problem. Oh, Not us. Hey, for mm. real. So, but much love to Tony. Okay. Hey, for, all day. All love. Hey, I'm going to do it like they do down south, where they say talk crazy about you, they say with bless her heart, bless her heart. or with all due respect. With all due respect Yo. after you oh. clown me. After they're about uh, to yeah, you know, we here tonight. God we, bless our heart. Yeah, so, bless your heart, girl. Bless, bless your, your heart, heart, child. Bless child. And bless I didn't catch Lord. the whole thing because I was on my phone, so I'm going to let that bless, slide. Bless well, about just, women's decisions and choices, but I hear I what you're saying. So, uh, can I support a woman's choice? Oh, but man, I man, also man. know Remember that a woman is God. And, as, as a black yeah. American male, sometimes black we are color. viewed as, sometimes we're not loved, we're tolerated. Mm-hmm. Chris Rock said it. Mm-hmm. No, I, I get what well, you're you're saying. Kids and well, dogs you know. are loved unconditionally. The man is loved by what he provides. Mm-hmm. Unless she's a dysfunctional, battered female who has daddy issues, and mm-hmm. she'll cling on, cling on, cling on to the very first piece of mail she can find. Yeah. And, and what do y'all do? Some like, what's your thing? Like, because it takes two, clearly. True. Well. Mm-hmm. What's y'all think? In all fairness to the women out there, I have evolved into this magnificent. But what does being. the men contribute to the dynamic that you're speaking of? Of the dysfunction? Oh, a lot. Oh, Probably they the most. A lot. So I'm gonna need y'all to speak on that. Oh, we do. <laughs> Wait, that, I mean, we can. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> shall we do that for? Oh half? man, shall I we do that for right a hot that when I didn't see it we can, I knew where she was right going. In. I walked right we can into do that. it. We can do that for a hot time. I would have bobbed and weaved a little better if I We can do that for a hot time. I'm good with that. to focus on that and shut the fuck up. See, no. See, that's a that's a real well, assassin right there. Is. They she smile can't do. at you, disarm you, and then oh. knock your head off. And still keep smiling cheers. while they're doing it. So, cheers. Yeah. Let's start this shit off Love right. Respect. Cheers. Happy Friday. And as usual, I know we started off with our uh, pregame bench. Actually, y'all missed our pregame. But I will let everybody this. introduce themselves and let you know who they be. What's happening? I'll start with. 
Hi, Candace Brown Bryant. Candace the best. Phil, what's happening? Oh, sucks. My favorite daughter, Tommy, Tommy is watching. Uh, can you, uh... Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Happy I want you to Friday introduce again. yourself. This is... Uh, can I get, let me give you a, let me give you a, 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 a warm up. Okay. This, this, this woman, this sister, this melanated queen, I've known her for many years. Moons. Many a moons. Mm -hmm. Solar returns exponential. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a producer, mm -hmm. a mother, mm -hmm. a queen. A martial artist. Mar she will kick your ass. <laughs> a samurai. In uno. <laughs> but no, my sister. I'm honored. Thank, Thank you. you. She's the host of the Venus Lounge. The Venus Lounge, yay! My podcast. It's an exceptional podcast. Y'all should you. tune in. Thank you. When once it launches, I'm trying to get it together. But thank you, yeah, Renee Moncada in the house, aka hey, Chakra Khan. Chakra Khan. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes, the honor is ours. My esteemed co-host. Because you bring a level of uh, dignity and sophistication that we normally don't possess. Definitely. None of that so I usually shit. show up here naked under my clothes. <laughs> yeah, we all do. Ah, you caught that. And I am Pharaoh, a.k.a. Pharaoh the Most. Ooh, Pharaoh the and um, I'm in, in the tradition of our African ancestors. I'm a griot. I tell stories. Oh, I love that. Griot. He tells stories. He tells it like it is. Yeah. Storytellers. The, story, the keeper... I am the keeper, keeper of the, the culture. Gate. I love yes, that. Yes, keeper I of the culture. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so, it's been a interesting week. You know, yeah, we got, got, we got a, we got a, we got like two topics we'll get on. And I hope y'all, yeah, this is interactive for y'all tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we're going to talk about poly relationships your opinions and whatnot. An expert. I'm not in no poly situation, so I'm set that out there right now. One so, of my daughters is in a poly relationship. Only polyamorous. Poly yeah, polyamorous. Y'all gotta say the whole word. Exactly. Yeah. Poly let me, let me, poly yeah. Yes, polyamorous. Sir. Like poly polyamorous. Polygamy. Polygamy. Like, what well, poly I I poly leave it short, Polly, because but, she's in a poly relationship. I was, but only her. Oh. Oh. Okay. Like. Dude has like seven baby mamas and stuff. That. No, that's she's. Uh, no, it's a great point because Go some ahead. women are in them and don't want to acknowledge it. Like now, so you're okay. in one, but you don't want to acknowledge you're in a polyamorous relationship. So even with that, and and that was one of the things I wanted to. Or men. We, we break know. it down. Yeah, oh, women hit and run too. Hello. That's a lie. True story. I've been at this since junior um, high. <laughs> so. Polyamorous, sister wives, all this, I'll all this shit that. encompassing. You know they got reality shows based on this too. But let's break down the definition. Mm -hmm. And each of you give me your definition of it. Don't put that on me. Oh I, I, you ain't got. I'm, I'm not involved. I'm just playing. But let's this because you know everybody has their spin on it. But let's separate the grits from the gravy. <laughs> That's an interesting it analogy. Is, right? I got the words. The cheese from the grits. I'm grits. a word player. I mean, a word I, can, I mean, I can go in. You know, we just got to look at it like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Renee will strongly disagree. But strongly. our ancestral mm -hmm. patriarchal inclination which is within our dna is to be in these type of relationships however once the colonizers came mm -hmm. and with and who the eugenics us? programs that they've had yeah. they turned our communities matriarchal and had us go against the very foundations of civilization can we, i add to that because sure. before they were patriarchal they were matriarchal no see that was and, uh, hold on now. and you had I, women I, I, also who yes. had multiple husbands they but did. it wasn't based on the fantasies and all the and stuff that doesn't exactly flow with nature no, though I, why not it was my, based on it was based yes. on i'm on the line it that was you based on. on keeping wealth 
Thank you. Accumulating wealth Male and keeping people. the matriarchal lineage, meaning yes. if you come from the mother, because yes. if you look at genealogy, it comes from the mother. You can only tell who's who by the mother, not the father. The melanated so, woman is God. That shit is not up. So for some of those, some when you say say it was patriarchal, I think it was yeah. matriarchal first. Yeah. I'm actually a scholar, and I went to Hotep University, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it, it was matriarchal in the sense that. A real black man exalts the black woman, so the mother was always exalted. But the actual benefits of, say, like a polyamorous type relationship or the leadership or this and that uh -huh. was always patriarchal until yeah. the eugenics programs literally attempted to no. alter our DNA. Yes, it's, it's, it's true, yeah, it's unfortunately. Right Hotep University. Hotep University. Yeah, can we just get yeah. on the Hotep, Hotep University? Hotep University. They had a frat. Like. I would say okay, whole friend ho, but we know that. So, give, uh, like I said, we're going right into this one, so let's go into it. Give right, your get definition get first. of hey, Mama C. polygamy, polyamorous. What is your vision, definition of it? Yeah. Well, I'll what give you an example of, of it's, uh, like, for instance, some of my closest friends are, Mo are Mormons. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And fundamentalist Mormons mm -hmm. really believe that it is the more wives you have, the higher your place will be in the kingdom of heaven. So they believe it's almost a religious thing to have more wives. More wives mean more stature, meaning you will have a higher, you know, thing. And you know what I'm saying? It's how polygamy is sometimes practiced in our black American community is mm -hmm. basically almost pimpish type dude with multiple I was, gonna multiple say, I was going, yeah, pimping. like the mo, yeah, you know, the mo ass, ass the mo cash like in the kingdom of heaven. If y'all were but, like yeah. taking care of business but and had their wives in their own homes and like I'm, everyone got treated equally, I gotta, go ahead. then maybe women, I don't know, would be, in, but y'all are, y'all think it'd just be like, yeah, I'm macking. And see, that's that, when it's not divine. That's why I, y'all on some dysfunctional That's specifically shit. why I asked for the definition your personal definition of it, because I study. No, I ain't talking about pimping. I have a daughter. I have a mother. I have a grandmother. Pimps can die, but pimps can die. I'm just keeping it above. I love that pimps are not immortal. Yeah, they're not. Their motherfuckers die. Finish him. But go ahead. I mean, it depends on it depends on what type of what type of what type of pimp you're talking about. Pimp in the regular nomenclature. There, there's a pimp it, hierarchy. Yes, there <laughs> is. I, I agree. Okay, well, like, I agree to what okay, he said. Like, there like, is. Like, like, see, he's macking, he's pimping, the pimping oh, and when tricking. We yeah, when we first when we first came out when we first came out of slavery and we were in the Reconstruction era, mm -hmm. women first off couldn't walk. A lot of men, I mean, work. They after walk, after a walk, I was saying, like, man, that was after a big hey, I mean, Cognac God. already <laughs> kicking in, and we ain't even 10 minutes in. Yeah. Okay. Work. Okay. But, the women weren't working. Like, but, okay. so a lot of women gravitated to basically to the man who basically could provide and who also had the plan. Like, this is how we're going to survive. Yeah, but she survive. had her role in that also. Oh, yes, most I mean, definitely. You know, she but what I'm saying, though, is that the the, the pimp culture that truly developed at first was more of a guy. Bitch ass niggas. No, it was a guy that was like more of a mentor, this and that. A mentor? No, let me finish. Okay. Mm. But along comes the I'm 70s. And mm. a lot of people in society started realizing the power that many of these pimps wielded. Mm -hmm. So what they did they did was they started Super promoting pimps. the the character. I fucks they mind. They had to put out. Parts. They had to. They had. To, if you look at the great documentary, uh, American Pimps Pimp, up, holds down. You'll look. Well, see once again, Pimps Up Holds Down is an example of Hollywood and the media always puts forth. The bullshit. The, the, I'm about the to gender. produce one called Holes Up Pimps the, uh, Down. You know, no, the, the, most, the, the most raggedy looking, the right. character, the, the, you know, just the, the goofball. Give and then it came, and then it devolved okay. into. Put you like this, the street level guy that you see on the streets, mm -hmm. trapping the girl with drugs, beating her, yeah, and carrying no this and that. That's that's, that's something else. So that's yeah. not a true. Evolved, that's not that's not evolved, what I'm. Yeah, it's not, and that's, that's I'm a high level. Give your, yeah, like I said, yeah. give your definition. There's levels to the pimping. Of okay. Macking. 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 Between pimping and macking. 
A pimp, a I, pimp is chasing a girl up and down the street and trying to get in and out of the car. I, I, a, a Mac is a person that who simply has took the ability to manipulate situations, to influence and inspire people Buy to clothes, a higher keep level. It, keep her in a nice little spot. Put you like this. Most of the black men that you see of higher levels in Congress, things like that, they trust me. Because you'll notice one of the tendencies that Mac has, they always know what to say and when to say it. And how to say Can it. Can women be Macs? Yes, yes. very much so. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I'm uh, actually, I want you to give your definition before I chime in. Of what? Polygamy, polyamorous. Oh, my definition? Yes. I mean, it's pretty universal when you have multiple partners. We got people that, that don't know you like we know you. And I'd like to keep it like that. I mean, okay. Just. I'm going to be anonymous. Okay. <laughs> See, here no, he is. Um, I mean, it. I feel like it's up to the individuals who are in the True. relationship. You know, I okay. feel like there are some female, some women out here who are okay with that. Like, but I think these the men need to understand how it's done. And Boy. the pimping, it just infiltrates That's... the thinking. And the eagle just infiltrates the thinking where it doesn't even... It's not able to even evolve into that divine right. sort of, you know, existence. Okay. They just, well, they just the, ego gets ahead. too involved and, yeah. you know. So, depends on and the does, can it work both ways? Well, it depends. If the woman comes in and looks at it and Pops, the man looks at up? her as part of, like, we are a family. We are a right. tribe. It's going to be all of us against the world, and we're going to build. We're going to have these kids. Right. We're going to educate them. We're going to give them life. Or is it we just all, I'm just this dude banging four or five women in the and, house. And that's usually so, what yeah. it boils down to for me. And that's why uh, a lot of women don't really go for it because that's the level of thinking. Because, uh, okay, so my thought process I'm gonna be devil's advocate. Uh, excuse, uh, yeah. I'm. Gonna, yeah, I know. I said I wasn't gonna use that term, but uh, my thought process is take away the pimping because it has nothing to do with this. What but it again. really means, I'm, 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 I'm separating it because I go deeper. I go in. You know, I okay, think outside okay, the box okay, and destroy okay, the okay, box. Okay. Because what happens is we put the current labels and the the quick thinker doesn't really study the history of this concept because this true concept in my humble opinion and I'm just a humble servant in the community means a provider on men on multiple levels mentally spiritually emotionally of course you have physical but the most young people, when you think of, when you say polygamy, polyamorous, sister wives, the young dumb fool going to think how many females I get to screw. Well, and that. Out there, it just looks so weird. Like there's, what's that one guy who was a poly, There's It just but, comes off weird and just. Right. It looks and weird. so. It all depends on the spiritual intent. But I'm just saying, the young un, untrained mind initially rolls to that thought process of how many females I get to sleep with yeah. and I got chicks over here, I got chicks over there. No, when when I talk about this this lifestyle and no, I don't live this lifestyle. I'm I'm gonna make that very clear. I'm married, my wife would probably try to shoot me. But she probably will. But looking at the history of what it really means and what society has made you pretenders not y'all but there are pretenders out there uh think it means is having all these different women and oh i just get to sleep with you know so many different women and that's not what it is if you look at it from a historical standpoint traditionally what it means is and this is just my definition from my studies and i do look at our research shit because you can, let's just say, you the king, you 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 a prince, a king, or whatever in mm-hmm. in in the native Emperor. land, emperor, 
Yeah, because she can't fuck me like a king no well, more. See, that's she got to fuck me like I'm an emperor. Need to be I, I'm going to break it down. Because you guys they are the original. The melanin that's woman is God. I'm going to break, that, break that down too. I'm going to break that. I'm going to break that down too. I'm going to break that down too. They don't know. It goes against the ego. So I'm going to keep it a buck. It goes. I'm going to break. I'm going to tap into that too. I can share a woman. I'm gonna tap into that too, uh, and all y'all watching, I want I want y'all to tar- chime in and give y'all opinion on this too. So, like I was saying, you look at once again, research on this. We have to separate right. separate the ego and the dramatization yeah, because, y'all are because too it's modern, not modern for this right. concept. Western, you're too modern, you're too Western. I'm just saying. It, so, like I was originally saying, say Pharaoh. Y'all can't even. You are you are you are a ruler. Women you're a, been on uh, this uh, way, way way ahead of y'all on this. You're my brother, through biological birth. Mm-hmm. I I pass on. Mm-hmm. You take on my family. Yes, that is one of the. It's the head. Aspects. So once again, what I'm saying is but that was based on cultures where women it, and children could not work. They could not provide. Right. So as, my, as your brother. I would be obligated to take on your family because I would be their only means of survival. Right. So, but, but in the industrial revolution, like you said, came that changes and, things. It changes things. Like yes. They took the role of what labor normally women would do. And at the in the home. Yeah. And I, like I said, exactly. Let's even go. Let's go to look at the etymology died, of her brother. That would become your wife too. Yes, you know. But not Look in the at, terms that y'all think Sexual, right. right. You probably wouldn't that, even, That's where I'm at. I'm, I'm at with the them, separation. But wives, meaning if someone it's came to bother to the real, them or something, like the, I'm the husband, these women are under my protection. The young they mind my thinks, yes. like I said, the young mind thinks, and oh, I, I got, got chicks over. Ex- yeah. And, and, and well, you know. That goes back to what's your spiritual intent? Is your spiritual right. intent to be a provider and a protector? Or is it your spiritual intent to... Man, I got multiple live-in sex partners. What's happening? So it all depends on what you're in. Cuz O'Hallen, Tanisha, ninety-two crew, brother Bell, uh, Jones. What's happening? So, um, looking at, like I said, let's forget the fluff because you have that fluff of, oh man, I got chicks over here, chicks over there. When you say polyamorous and all that. The young, un, untrained mind thinks these things it's that... on a sexual level. Right, and it's not. It's, it's not. It's exactly. It's a, it's a mental, spiritual, cultural, uh, lineage protection thing mm-hmm. from its true essence. Of course, the waters have been muddied. With Cinemax yeah. After Dark and all the other shit, and you had the seventies, and everybody thought they had fifty billion chicks. <laughs> I ain't gonna call them bitches. Dark? I'm just saying. I saw Mary J. Blige on the radio interview saying that she was willing to do it. Yeah, who wants it? Well, the so, thing, but it was in the context. We of need a new washing machine her, and dryer. Her husband. So. Mm-hmm. Her husband at the time. Yeah. Was like, I need more than one woman. And she was like, in order to keep him, she said, I was willing to go along with it. But the particular woman that he was trying to bring into the relationship, yeah. he had been cheating on her with yeah, and, and siphoning money. And she was so, like, if it would have been anybody else, mm-hmm. I would have accepted it. But because it was her. Because she yeah, felt intimidated up with it. By but the, she's the, a wealthy, this. world famous woman and she was willing to go along with it. So what are you saying? The man couldn't provide for her. In fact, she provided all the income. Yeah, she was the alpha female in the relationship. And but she was still willing know. to accept I'm, I'm being a, I'm a hurt sister. Y'all. Why, what makes you, you think know. that she, I mean, what? what is your opinion on why she was accepting of that? Because it's more, in, I don't want to speak in generalities because you look like ready to cut my head no, off. I, I, don't no, put your no, but, but, but you Even the alpha female like Mary J. Blige who brings the money, who was Once famous a before. a who can do more or equal, yeah. Who was famous before she even laid eyes on her husband, so it's not like he shaped her or Are molded you, her. Are we talking right. about Kendu? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the nigga that she was, I mean, she that she was the still willing if he said, money. you know what, I need more than one wife. She was willing to go along with the program to keep him even though there was no advantage to her. 
right. which shows he was that in there with a the woman woo, can go along with that yeah, easier. you just have to be really can you mature. Woo, woo, he was in there with the woo, woo, woo. A lot of trust involved in it. And, so, you know, like, each dynamic is specific to that family. And, you know, I, I think I, it's an individual type of thing. I hear you. I and think I mean, with the I, modern pressures and stuff that we go through out here in this American society, Western. I wouldn't recommend any type of polygamy relationship because... But some of y'all are in them and don't even... You have to... I think in order to build the strongest family unit to survive, it needs to be uh -huh. a man, a woman, and the children. Or two when you parents. Bring, okay. Because if you're a man, unless you're just... Or even the woman side, unless you're extremely wealthy and you have extreme amounts of leisure time, you can't go do a nine to five <laughs> and maintain a family here, right. a family here. And Somebody's gonna get shortchanged in the exchange. So and if not the women, the children, somebody's gonna get shortchanged and thus you're but, not building a strong family unit. So what would be the purpose? Okay, so to yeah. answer or to I'll respond, pull Emmett. Uh <laughs> but Emmett got a gun to his uh, head. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Emmett on the shy, that's <laughs> Emmett on the shot. Oh, so I, I, I was, was going to bring that in in this I'm conversation. Hit me to it. Hit me to it. But to. Emmett got caught cheating so many times no. that his woman that's said. That's different. Like, that's you know what? I want to open relationship. That's bringing Western. But now she's, but now she's going. That's dealing with a dude bringing, who's more than Emmett. He's richer. That's bringing Western. <laughs> yeah. That's bringing Western ideology into the conversation. Tommy, which one time. Which I want to start from the beginning. The essence of it, and let's go to today's bullshit. Tommy says, "I wish I would." Uh, <laughs> Tommy's uh, not rocking hey, with Tommy. it. Hey, Tommy, not with it. So, <laughs> once again, like you look at it, you because there's there's the definitions. Because, like I said, you got the uneducated mind that thinks, "Oh, I get to have this many women," which ties into what. Emmett on the show was on the show. But see, Emmett, Emmett's catching but it's, it's bigger because he know he can't actually compete with the other dudes. His <laughs> ego is a motherfucker. Crush the ego. But look at, once again, let's go to the essence of what this is. It's just like, if you look at have, dealing with multiple women, dealing with multiple women, even though, and I'm this is the blanket statement, is a rich man's game. Exactly. So if you're a working class dude, you're not going to be able to provide the quality time to multiple families. You barely can provide time to the family that that the single family. And so if you're not wealthy, if you don't have the actual capacity, male or female, I to take care of multiple. Maturity, not really. True. Oh, definitely that. It but takes some maturity, no communication, and understanding. Up at the front about women and what the deal Her is. Her kid mm -hmm. has a birthday. Her kid has but a basketball you just game. Do that. Where do you go? Well, that's modern. Yeah. You send it's money to both for while you are with the third. It's not set up See, you hear that? modern. You hear that? Did you hear that? Did it's you hear not that? Just I'm, that was a joke. It's not just about money either. True. It's not. So, like I said, let's go from the original, the etymology yeah, of... Yeah, you'd be in one... One tribe, Once one again, village, one section. It's about being, and this is take take your hormone, your sexual hormones, your jisms out of the fucking let me, equation. Let me, just, let me just say this. Yes, just as, a, as a woman with a family and needing support from other women, just not just being in a, polit, a polygamy relationship. Just, mm -hmm. I'm a better mother and a better wife when mm -hmm. I'm supported by other women. Because you guys mm -hmm. harmonize together well, biologically because, and metaphorically and, yeah, and just, mentally and spiritually. There are many, many levels to it, but I levels. can see the benefits of that minus all the ego stuff if you had someone... Who, who was mature enough to handle the situation. Well, just who a, a village or a tribe that could back you up when you're against the wall trying to raise a family mm -hmm. or children to prepare them for the world and, and also your community. Right. For me, it takes up... I always say behind every good man is a good woman, but behind a that woman, woman is another woman. And for me personally, yes. I need that circle around me. Each one teach But me. I don't mean that you're going to sleep with my husband and all that. I'm just saying as, as far as the component of having a tribe of women mm -hmm. who we are all supporting each other to be better women. I'm only speaking right. on the love of having a family and children. Single women, that's a whole different thing. But for me, having a family, having children, having a husband and many responsibilities, 
I get support and I feel stronger and more supported when I have other women, whether it's my sisters or my friends, who I can gather with at certain times yes. and discuss these things, get their feedback, get their support. Mm -hmm. So polygamy may not always be the the dynamic that I'm looking for, but right. if that's what that offers, I'm with that. Then yeah. we can have a conversation about who's doing what on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You feel me? Hey. I feel bad. Because the short <laughs> mind. Why, this is why I hate when we bring intelligent guests on there. Mm -hmm. Because, you can't you know, because as the cognac begins to flow, it flows. Hey, and, we my, just and, my, and, my, and my tendency towards niggatry mm -hmm. starts to come out. Niggism. I look over and I realize that I'm going to sound even much more like an idiot. Don't do it. In, in, in the reflection of high level intelligence. So it's right. just, it's just, that's it's, just my personal, it's just upsetting me and my homegirls. Yeah, that's just my personal so. experience. It makes me a better wife, a right. better mother, a better friend, sister, mm -hmm. whatever. When I have a space with other women where I can go and feel you can commune, supported. You can, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and the thing about it, Western civilization bastardizes everything. That's their Western civilization is the cancer. Of see, we don't have that type of thing. I tried to tell him my problems, and he told me, "Man, yeah, up, see, drink this don't, and drink right, this." He said, "Drink that. this and get put some hair on your chest and man right. up." And I said, okay. "Challenge." That's why. But, that's the root of why I think men need to be with uh, multiple women. Is to, so you need a bosom to lay on every now and again. Hey, we ain't soft. We gangsters. We take on this world. You can be all the thug you want. About feminine. I take some energy. ass over a bullet any day. Oh, fuck no. Mm. Mm. Fuck and no, not, I but just... <laughs> peace of mind is paramount. Because I went into my Western civilization. Ooh, he used paramount thought. in he a sentence. Paramount. This is the only brother but, you're going to catch using this level of vocabulary. Seriously. So appreciate it. Yeah, I give y'all some isms. I drop jewels every now you and then. But looking at, once again, I said the origins of this concept of unity, family, not not family about everything. not about how many people you can sleep with, not about just do like man, I got five chicks and I'm finna, cause the to the short minded dudes who think that process, I'm a I'm gonna just say this to you and I'm gonna say it as you know me, I just say what the fuck I gotta say. Dealing with one woman, if you're not mentally mature enough to handle her. Is a fucking lot. That's Can true. you imagine doing it with multiple? Y'all niggas a lot too. I, I, I'm not knocking. Mm -hmm. See, once again, really. sis, sis. Y'all more equipped I'm, no, to I'm, deal I'm, with I'm, us I'm, than this, we are I'm trying about. to get a I'm trying to spoon feed brothers. Okay, okay. I'm trying to we'll spoon feed brothers. Okay, okay. I'm trying okay. to spoon feed. I got you. I, got you. I uplift you us. Really each one teach one. Mm. I'm trying to I'm trying to teach y'all to fish. I'm not trying to give you a fish. Mm. Why not both? So, Listen, if I one and hook and and just just imagine Motivate. because the short minded dude when they think of that because once again let's let's take it back to the shy what we were speaking on dude thought oh man we can have open marriage yeah. I get to go deal with so many chicks that short minded thought yeah, they're not thinking short money and bad breaks but he didn't think it all the way through I, that's her, what I'm speaking her motivation on. to be in a in was a emotional open marriage attachment. was based on her being hurt. And insecure. Not, oh, let me let you have your freedom so I can keep you. But it was more like, I'm and then she started enjoying her shit. And but we're not equipped to play the game the same. Women are the coldest back, players in the game. Up. I don't give a See, fuck who she you is. one and ruined my whole life. Y'all, y'all can't handle it. I, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm honest. I, like I keep it a buck. Now to keep it, to I keep cry it in the, the car, but I'm gonna be a stud afterwards. But keep it all the way hundred. I'm actually in the process of kind of transitioning into a Hebrew Israelite. Mm. And many of the brothers I got Twinkies for sale. in my community mm -hmm. are do have multiple wives. Okay. But I've seen that and it's not for me. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't engage in it. But I am a part of a community where it's common. Okay. Girl, you know? I'd be like Monday, yeah. Tuesday, me Wednesday, Thursday, and I have the rest of the I'm week. I'm just for the weekend. Yeah. Who was that? Who was that song? Yeah. On the weekend. But uh, y'all a lot. 
Facts. But it's supposed to be scary. Men are not to deal with. Women are not to Yeah, but y'all have a lot of like but y'all, physical, uh, mental needs. Women that can, we don't know how to. We're not that. trained. I will say this. Uh, y'all we're not trained. Yeah, we're very, definitely strong. Overall, we're not trained to deal yeah, with yeah. and accept and understand the emotional. Y'all are emotional. No, I'm listen. Okay. We're not trained to deal with mm-hmm. the emotional baggage that comes with being a melanated man. Yes. It's heavy. There are some that it's are. Trained? I'm speaking on the whole. I'm speaking in general. Well, what do you it's mean heavy. trained? We're not. But what do you do? Y'all have a maternal okay. instinct so already that what happens is, we don't women. have that. What happens okay. is, in society, boys don't cry. Suck it up. And yeah. I've been... I've even caught myself and my wife be like, dude, just, and I'm like, yeah, you're right. But from, because we're taught boys don't cry. It's the fuck you can. You can have feelings. You can cry in the car. Y'all are emotional. I hate when I hear. You can cry in the car. You can absorb the feelings that you better fuck up whoever made you cry on the spot. Exactly. But that's the you can cry, but that's the bastardization and the and the bestiality of that emotion. Because think about it. That's what it is. Let's be honest. It's what's ingrained. That's the bestiality, and I'm not talking about people having sex with animals. Okay. When I say bestiality, I'm just speaking speaking of the raw emotion of being oh, able to deal with your emotions. Dog, We're dog, not men are not dog, taught dog, well, 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 to well. receive and deal with their emotions on a real level. We're taught to hide everything in the cuts, okay. and and not and you're not allowed to feel. You're not allowed to nothing. Because you got to be tough and strong. Unless you're born into a life of leisure, those type of emotions uh, could be a real detriment to you as a man trying to achieve. Because chicks don't want no soft dude. Society doesn't. Yeah. Society want a soft tells dude. you that. No, I, I, as a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being female, sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. No, because especially if you're a woman who mm-hmm. is independent, mm-hmm. strong, you want to. For me personally, mm-hmm. like I want to be able because out in the world while I'm dealing in the world and I'm, you know, making decisions and and managing different people and projects. Mm -hmm. When I come home, I don't mind that my man wants to, you know, wants me to cater to him, Mm -hmm. serve him or whatever, however y'all want to put it. That doesn't really bother me. Like, Mm -hmm. I enjoy that just because I I don't want a soft man. I don't want a man that I could run all over. Mm Mm-hmm. I want someone who's going to stand up to me and who's going to check me and whatever. Like, hold no, on. see, this is... I, didn't, I want the peanut butter on first. She put the jelly on first. That's a Ooh, this And I'm not into me. no abuse. She's like, ooh, this thing got me wet. Yeah, yeah, you are. You got me. I, I, mean, when, I, was a, I when I was a very <laughs> young man, I lost one once because she said, you're just too intelligent, man. You got to let the ignorant out. She told me that as a favor. Yeah, everybody like a little one foot. But nice guys finish last. She told me that as a favor for future reference. You got to let the ignorant out sometime, man. You got to let it out. No, it's not ignorant. Society. It's just being, stay in your manhood. Yeah. You know, stay in your masculine energy. Men. energy, like. Men are bastardized. And I don't know, I made it my own word or whatever the fuck. Whatever. That is actually. Men are looked down, yeah, bastardized for. Being oh, able to be in side, touch. Like homicide, bastard bastard size. Size, I, I okay, did. You, you made that up. I, I did. And then <laughs> I, 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 got a, I got an education, so I can make up my own words. I make six figures, so I'm going to do that. That's the master of your own Master pain. of my own destiny. Mm-hmm. So, but historically, mm-hmm. men are pushed to the left for being in touch with their genuine and emotions and feelings. I can't even rock with a dude. But y'all my do that to each other. We don't do that. I'm, not, I'm not blaming. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming man. I can't, I, can't, I can't even rock with you as a friend if you're too in touch with your emotions and feelings. Because man, I need to know that if you run it with me, you're gonna be able to do whatever's necessary. And have no regrets about it. <laughs> I know. Even though I'm no taking long, this nigga's head off or what? I mean, even <laughs> though I'm so far with. removed from being in any situation where I mean, I'm twenty some years removed from being in any situation where we got to do what we got to do. Right. 
But right. mm-hmm. can I use your charger? I have. I have a, I have a, I have a certain ground that I stand Sorry. on, and if I don't think you can go there, we're not gonna be friends. <laughs> nah, blood, you need to go run with them. But I hear what you're saying. But how does it? It's wireless. You gotta. You gotta Big Devon, fun. what's up with you, man? <laughs> Who's you watching? I appreciate Devon. y'all tuning in. Yeah, so we have we we have been, know you know taught to just really not express ourselves and be in touch with who we are. And that sucks. But I don't want to far yes, too Tommy, 30 and up. I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to go too far left or right from what we was talking about cuz we really have. But when you look at polyamorous relationships you know It's just too modern. It's you're taking you a, look at a, Utah, a, 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 a historical ancient concept, and trying to plug it into modern. Yes, sir, Devon, I'm there. Yeah, because Western civilization has put a stigma on it, and I'm I'm not saying no, I'm for y'all or put against a on it. Western civilization. Yeah, I'll be there one I was just on. in here listening to y'all yeah. before we went on. Yeah, Western civilization is put streaming, I'm, and it has nothing to do with Western Western civilization. Yeah. It had all to do with your current mindset. And no, the current mindset is most, most people aren't able to deal with it. Most people aren't able to deal with it because people have been conditioned. Yes. Conditioned you look is, at look at look at the phrase that they say with kid, it takes a village to raise a kid. It takes a village to keep everything to going. Keep a man in line. No. Well, how does this work? Just push the button. You just gotta and believe it. your phone work. on it. Okay, what button? The button on the button. You didn't tell me all that. I before. push the button and put your phone on it. It's you wireless. Believe it's gonna work. Is your iPhone up to date? Put your phone on it. It'll it'll charge it. Yeah, you gotta believe it's gonna work before oh. every above everything else. It was made by I man. Believe. Look at that. Um, see, so, but you look at like I said. Let's break it down. Okay. Because Let it be it's just as well, and I don't want to sound sexist to anybody that's listening, because you have. You heard that rock. I don't want to sound sexy. I don't. You know me. I'm the, uh, I'm the shit, devil's that, advocate. That, that shit meant sales. I, I, I feed, right. I, I I feed both sexy. wolves. I feed both wolves. I'm an introvert and extrovert. I feed both wolves. You know. So, just like you have the situation where dudes would think, oh, I got so many chicks I can deal with, which that's not what this is about. So, this, this conversation is not about that. So, if that's your mindset, I'm gonna need you to eat some alphabet soup and and watch one, two, three, what is it? Electric company or some shit. Game up. But look at today. I'm so lost right now. I know, because I'm finna bring I'm finna I'm finna bring it around. I'm okay, finna bring, bring it around. Bring it home. I'm trying to bring it around back to the three in the morning conversations I give y'all. Cause the typical male, mm-hmm. Western civilized male, like I said, thinks of the oh, I get to sleep with this many women or whatever. But I've watched shows, because they have shows on this, and I've seen shows where there's been a woman who've had multiple males. Yeah, see, that's an abomination. And I've said, come, <laughs> come, come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's not go there. I hear you, but let's okay. not go there. Let's keep well, it a buck. Come on, keep let's it a keep buck. It a buck. You let's me. keep it a buck. I, I just seen, I, I, come on, we all know. We all know of dudes who didn't went and did some some foul shit because they chick was dealing with some other dude and they should have had a conversation with her and they wouldn't approach the dude. Never approach the dude. Respect the code. And that's just on some young shit. Women too. Same. That's on some young shit. But on once again, her. whatever you don't do, don't going back, going back to don't approach the dude. Don't, and don't approach because, the because, because, the because, don't because approach he can only do what she allows. So you she's can, your enemy. Go holler at her. Your, your problem is your mate. But Thank once you. again, that's that's another subject for another show. Like when Khloe Kardashian went hard on Jordan. Jordan, um, I don't follow the celebrities. She was fucks. a snake. They all, all them celebrities fucking each other. Jordan so. should have been calling her while I he was know, there. But no, but I, I, the dude that was on him, that she was in the relationship with him. Who said what? Right. 
She, uh, Jordan wasn't friends with her. She was friends with her. They don't see you on Sunday. Okay. True. That's how they get down because she was with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, to really back in because y'all was talking about some motherfuckers who don't pay our bills. Um, I that don't matter. Kim spent a little money with me before. I know. I remember. I was supposed. To, I was supposed. To, never mind. Okay. I, I, I ain't gonna tell that story because I was supposed to I be there. I wanna know what happened. Wait, My what? wife was hating. Oh, I keep it a buck. How did Kim Kardashian spend money with you? I mean, she we was, was they had the Miami Kardashian, shit. You know? We was. So I was supposed. Know. Never mind. I'm, never mind. I'm still feeling some type of way about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about We'll talk about that shit offline. Yeah. I don't want to offend Kanye. But um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come back on that. What is your thoughts on? <laughs> so I ain't gonna let that go. And and y'all that's watching, I, please chime in. We want y'all comments, thoughts on this shit. A polyamorous relationship. What is your thoughts on the difference of a woman with multiple men versus a man with multiple women? Nothing. One go. One is in line with nature. Oh my God. And one is one. Have y'all ever seen? Who's nature? Ever, uh, I mean, it it really depends. You ever see that uh, Terrence Malick movie? What's my the favorite ball? filmmaker, Terrence Malick. What she hate me? Uh, he made a movie called uh, The Tree of Life. Mm -hmm. And there was two sets of parents, and one parent lived in a constant state of turmoil and anger, and the other parent lived in harmony with nature, and mm -hmm. the children had to choose. And it really went back to the beginning of civilization. It's really heavy movie. Tree of Life. It's one of the best movies I ever made. I watch it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm game. And uh, so, put it to you like this. And the reason why, okay, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, been saying that type of stuff as to get a reaction out of Renee being, <laughs> being a dude. Yeah, but on a realistic level, the reason why I say it goes along with nature is that women I've known have been able to accept all kinds of antics for me and for my friends. Women are strategic and mature. But Very. none of us, including me or any of my friends, mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. ever yeah. been able to deal with even a tiny bit of payback. And that's why I say, and I, and I look Me's at men across the board, car, and that's why really I say it's in line with nature, is that women seem to be able to be a little more tolerant of certain things or willing to go along. Because... And for us, it's a soul-crushing thing. Yeah. So we're obviously different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Agree. And that's why I say it's more of in a man's nature mm -hmm. to be able to do certain things the woman accepted and okay. if the shoe is on the other foot, it don't fit it don't fit good at all. Mm -hmm. In fact it fits painfully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say that. I've been I've been putting extras on it to get a reaction out of you. <laughs> I know but you know. but I, I... but I do feel that it's more in line with nature for one another. Like nobody should do none of that. You should have Maybe. fidelity to your mate on both ways. But I just seen one party is more know, built though, to survive that than the other one. Even mm. just the institution of marriage and right. what it was Western. originally, I guess, set up for, it just doesn't seem sustainable to be with like one person for the rest of your life and that's it. Mm. So monogamy is unnatural? Uh, uh, I, I think so on some levels, just because, not just monogamy, but just saying that this is the one thing that I'm going to commit to. And it does, it's about commitment. It's really not about love or any of those romantic things. Take a lesson, but it's, it's, it's kind of like to say that it's almost like I will be your everything in life for now, moving forward through the rest of our life is... I, I'm more like, let's see how it goes, you know. And fortunately for me, it's been going great. There you go. But you cool. get to those points where you, you, for someone to be your everything and to provide you with everything and to be your everything, it just, just seems unrealistic where you're putting all your happiness into one person and for them to deliver that to you day to day for here and to the rest of your life is scary. Right. Like, just... I'm just like, forever, ever, forever, ever? Yeah, like that part. I, I'm, gonna say I'm not sure how realistic that is. I'm going to piggyback off of what you said, the mindset of your statement. Because, yeah. And this is something I've always felt. I think, personally, this and is just my Cinderella personal opinion. And then Cinderella and all the fairy tales don't help. This, this is just, yeah, women. exactly, because you can, that's the condition. And that's, Disney. That's the condition. And 
you know, I think the glass liquid. you have, there's what, over 7 billion people on this earth. And you still have to deal with, on a mental, metaphysical level, the ancestors and what, it goes deeper. Just to, I'm going to break it down in a nutshell without going too deep for you. At a minimum. Too deep for the audience or too deep for us? Too deep for the audience. Too deep for people. I will break it down eventually. Be broke, motherfucker. It'd be, yeah, I'm going to break it down. But I won't that right now. That was from Hey, Lynn. Uh, from hey. But at a minimum, I think you have a minimum of three soulmates in existence in on the planet at any given time, soulmates. Three. You can only have at one a soulmate. Bullshit. If it's a soulmate, the very essence of a soulmate is a soulmate. So you're limiting, and and, 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 and I hear what you're saying. Which but, means that that person will allow you, and you allow them to grow at whatever, whatever level at they a minimum, to grow at. You because you have to think them. about things exponentially. You have, and but this is just me. Is like, I don't know what it is about cheating. Like people could do everything else. They could be addicted to drugs. They could be gamblers. Just and I'm not even speaking on is that. The one thing that people just do. Not I'm not even speaking on that, that level. Put it like this: cheating, the, being addicted to drugs or gambling or something like that is more devastating to a family than if pops got a side chick. That's what I. That's what I was you know. saying. Western civilization training. Well, you need to move then. Niggas. Keep talking about Western <laughs> civilization. You need to go. But east. I did. I know. I'm, I'm saying. I, I'm more in I'm, 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 I'm saying we've been conditioned Western to think that oh, I got to meet this one person, and it, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's not possible. I am. No, not. some people, it, it's very yeah. possible. I'm I not agree saying and I semi disagree. Like yeah. I do believe you can have multiple soulmates. Yeah. But in order for your life and the, your family, which is greater mm -hmm. than yourself, to really function properly. When you lock into that one soulmate, you grow. Even if and it doesn't, it's even, not just about sex. Yeah, even right. if your feelings, even if your feelings sex ain't got change, nothing to do with this. Even if your feelings change, even though you even meet your other soulmate, your will yeah. you still have to be you still committed, committed because the family is greater than yourself. So you exactly. can't say, "Oh, I'd be more happy or more fulfilled over here," the and then leave earlier. everybody over here. Right completely hanging especially people who you procreated and brought into this world right. and be like hey kid it's a commitment <laughs> I'm, over, hey, kid, I'm gonna be around the corner now you can't do that and when you think about it like i said the the young mind and i'm not saying age just young mind period thinks of the situation as how many people i can sleep with it's not about that why not? Because it's not. I That's mean, you young can do mind. that without. True, you can. I would. I listen. I. I. I, I got a. Never mind. Will I, Chamberlain. We ain't gonna go there. Oh, I'm trying to stay where I'm at. You know, I did the math on that. I don't want my toothbrush. Will, full of shit. Yeah. I know. I don't believe that. He is. Yeah, will, will maybe. 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 But all I'm gonna say is, shit's possible. <laughs> no, nah, you do the math. Fuck the that. Age, you the shit's shit's possible. Out. Shut up. Shit's Y'all be the first one to be like talking all kind of shit and be passed out by Some of those days he had to travel. Some I'm, of those I'm days, not, days, I'm, I'm those days he played basketball. He just did not ever. physically have enough time to put in those it's numbers. So funny shit's because possible. men are always talking shit, but the women. No, really women run the, the shit. A woman can sit. Here's the thing. I'm. I'm not. I'm never going to talk down on the woman on this situation, because a woman is able to physically lay for 24 hours straight. She can go for a week and have sex with multiple partners. A dude can't do that. Okay. I, get, I hear you, and that's the ego talking. But I hear you. I'm going to acknowledge you, but I'm going to, I'm, once again, I'm going to deal with science and facts and, and, and shit Trust that I... Trust the science. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, uh, proven and, science. And cite your sources. Uh, um, I'm trying to stay in the condition that I'm in. So, like, once again, like I said, I've studied some shit. Physically, some also. Shit. Yeah. I've studied some shit. I know some shit. I got some bitches. A woman, no, nah, I don't have bitches. I love women. I hate bitches. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll me. get that at three in the morning. Hallelujah. But 
I'm just saying, physically, a woman is able to sit and have sex with over 24, 48, whatever hours, consistently. Without, I mean, and you got to ice because they did some shit. But dudes can't do that. We have went way over left, right of what we was originally talking about. But this is the form that we do. So the conversation goes where it flows. Women it do the choosing, rerun shit. Women fuck who they want. Men marry who they want. Mm. That was Sandy. Am I lying? What do you, okay, say it again. Women <laughs> fuck who they want. Men fuck who they can. Men marry who they want. Women marry who they can. Mm. Mm. Okay. Maybe. And that's not yeah. absolute. Okay, say that. Add that clear. It's not an absolute. Add that right. clarify. There's some variables in there. There are variables. Hella variables. But fuck it. With the, with the conversation okay, went way over, yeah, so let's fuck go. it. Let's, let's go the with next it. Topic. Um, are we still on this? No, we we can get we can, oh so remember we was talking earlier about uh speaking of I'm faded, so I know you are. So <laughs> so I'm Dr. Dre's uh, God bless soon Dre. to be ex got is getting in a uh, this is the preliminary uh, of their divorce whatnot three hundred thousand a month mm-hmm. until she either remarries engages in Has a some domestic live-in dick, partnership dude boo or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's just going. She's gonna be having hella closer relationships. I'm but sorry. when you look at it like this, uh, in the aspect of a working man to think someone's gonna be handed three hundred thousand a month sounds oh, staggering. Dude, but when you look at it overall, that's about three point six million a yeah, year. A year. And when you look at that, the man is worth over a thousand million for her to get three million a year. Dre won in exchange for. 25 years she's helped this man build his life where all he had to do was concentrate on that. She's really getting a, a pittance. And and for the amount she could have got on the tell-all book hey, see, to, to harbor what, all what this, to snitches, this get ninja secrets and, and, and carry the shame and the guilt of all what the things he's called actually getting her. off cheap. The man, he, he won. Came, he was like, oh, 300000 oh, oh, I think I Because she wanted, because she wanted, I think, $4 million or two something. And two she was a fu- lawyer. She's super she knows, She might know she her sacrificed shit. She her complete career. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not knocking her at all. You don't know what was I'm going not, on. I'm First not of all, knocking her at like, all. I'm sorry. With respect, a total asshole dick. Okay. And a piece I was going to say that as well. He seems I, like a piece of work. Because so to be his wife does not seem, and somebody's saying, when well, she knew she was, she signed that for her. Yeah, blah, I did blah, say blah, blah, that. Blah. It but to be that and do that, I get it. Because here's the thing. I Even though we don't know Dre gay. personally, the things Ooh. that the things that have been documented publicly about him up until the time when mm-hmm. he married, I'm pretty sure as he got into his late 40s, 50s, yeah. he's probably mellow and calmed down. Right. But when she got with him he in 95, we know that he, Dre was a raging alcoholic who had no problem with beating you know women. women. Thank you. Uh, we know right. things like... He would be driving around in a Lamborghini with a million dollars with a suspended license and the tags bad. Okay. And then as a millionaire mm-hmm. going to jail and doing 50, 60 days in jail because mm-hmm. he has a suspended license. Like, we know Dumb. Dre's life was completely disorganized in the tailspin. She yeah. might, and, so, I, and I'm not disagreeing. And I'm pretty sure that even if he changed, on that. and I'm pretty sure even I, if he changed over the years, because you do change and mature, even yeah. if you changed, I'm sure there was moments where he had maybe a little too much to drink, and he went back to being his Dre. Right. <laughs> so, so yeah. her, so her getting a few hundred thousand a month. I see a lot of people on social media kind of outraged, but I'm like, he I winning? I know because she gave up her career as an attorney to oh, help shit. guide his Once life. Again. So, I don't I, know, I, man. I, you know, I understand. She's I no gold digger. She was a lawyer. Is, who, I'm not saying she's who a gold spent digger. 25 Y'all years by this man's side. Three hundred thousand. No, I'm not stuck on that. But when you look at his overall value, the three hundred thousand. I just have a different opinion on nothing. when you when, when you, you look separate. At his overall track record is being dick I, in the community, <laughs> and in all the stories that we heard. True, we've heard. Nothing. We've heard. You we've better heard be glad you ain't up in jail with Bill Cosby. 
The bill's out right now. Okay, well. On the technicality. Free. I, I, I would say some shit that would get me probably banned, but I'm not going to say that. But I will I'm say this. And, and it would have been I, a and joke. I know this is going to be a horrible sentence, but I'm going to say this in fairness to Bill. Mm-hmm. A lot of the things that we're judging Bill on in the 2000, in the 2010s, the 2020s, was, kind of play was the even day. though they were morally wrong in the 70s, they were socially acceptable. True. true. Yeah, but you I know, know someone who directly... No means no. Yeah. I'm sorry. ...experienced yeah. something with him, and it was not cool. Um, well, see, I, I know someone firsthand... I, I, I grew up as a teen dealt, dealt with him and his... I'm, I'm well, under people mindset. People need to understand the public persona is totally different and separate from what happens with these people privately. Right. And this... And and I thought that too until I a friend I got of mine out by Bill told me told me race. told me things about him. So I got cussed out I, by Bill at the pen and, and, and I'm a firm Somebody believer shit will yeah. catch up to you. You will not get away with something if it was not something that you did. It just right. it's not how karma works. Karma you works. could wait 20, 30 years and you thought it was gone and it'll sneak back up on you. So, Literally. so I'm just going to say for him, the, great, love the Cosby show, love me some Jello pudding, but... At the hey, pen, hey. pen relays in 1992, a, some a, kids, Bill was on the field and mm-hmm. I had the field. Some kids asked me, since I was on the field, hey, mm-hmm. could you get his autograph for us? Yeah. And I walked over there and he literally was like... You don't get the you. fuck away yeah, from me. Asshole. What type of Aaron boy are you on? Because he was watch, observing oh the interaction. And I was like, man, there's some I, kids. I, I get and he that. was like, man, get this pissant. He called me a pissant. He said, get this pissant from in front of me. Oh and I was God. like, sorry, Mr. Cosby. Oh, my God. I get that. That's, that's I mean, I wasn't going to get the autograph for myself, but I still was I'm like, still. fuck, yeah. Bill Cosby yeah. called me a pissant and told me to get the fuck out of his face. Mm-hmm. That wasn't a pleasant experience. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to... Cynthia Young said he should have never been locked up in the first place. So here's what I'm going to say about that. And I'm just playing devil's advocate because that's my. my, He got what he had coming to him. Karma's a bitch. But the conversations he had with the the lawyers, let me finish. With the DAs, everything he said should not have been submitted and admissible in court. I understand that and I get that. But here's the thing I'm a black man. I have a daughter. Have Cynthia, a you're correct. I have a grandmother. Say Captain Couch was... was oh, it's Captain Couch. Couch. Oh, man, if you're going to get them, okay, but where you got to get all of them. Can't come in. Call all of them. A female coin to a man's hotel room means one thing. Get all of yeah, them. Yeah, but he would drug Here's, them. Exactly. So Here's different. the thing. I'm, I'm, and I'm just being a hundred with you, and I'm not saying this because I'm so off. Child, you sound crazy. Yeah, You're talking to me. Listen, no. Listen, I'm just gonna say my. This is this is just my personal. And very personal opinion, and I even did a pe- I did a post on it. Conversation run the nation, and procrastination is a violation. Ooh. If I can't, and I'm not, I'm, I'm just gonna say Cynthia's this. Cynthia still real now. That yeah. casting couch. It is. The casting I couch agree. has always been there. I agree. True, and the pressure, and you have so many victims of it. Yeah. So all the people who perpetuated that situation should be prosecuted. I hmm. I firmly believe that. Because that's some bullshit. Because. But what about at, the point Cynthia made about when you come to a man's hotel room and this? And I, that, like, I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh, yeah, I'm going to speak on that. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what it is. Mm. Yeah. So, here's the thing. Right, Once again, like I said conversation run the nation. Procrastination is a violation. But anytime you have to drag if a woman to get what you, you got, to think, and that's the, all I'm gonna say. Yeah. If you got to do something extra to get some ass, yeah, I'm so sorry. Going I'm not level. going to defend some hoe shit, and I'm calling it hoe shit. Yeah. I'm just keeping it player. No, and there's some. And women I ain't even play. The deal is, and they have. You got the women who know who go to the rooms at the nighttime that's and right. the whatever you know. Ain't nothing but legs open after two. I'm. I, I, I was taught by the best. I know what the fuck it is. But my thing is, and I'm going to speak for me personally, and this is coming from a currently married dude and 17, 14, no, 13 years in, 17 together. I'm just saying, my mindset has always been, and this is just me. Do you see his wife there, though? I want you to want me. 
right. Thank you. I'm just keeping it a buck. And right. don't you hey, if I lose player points, I don't give a fuck. I, right. I got I got six plus right. figures. I'm chilling. I'm not missing no meals. But I'm just keeping it honest. Right. I'm speaking for myself. Personally, I want you to want me too. Fuck what I got, fuck whatever, keep it a buck with me, and let's rock. If the shit match and it mix, like mystery mix now later, we can power, sell it. About power. All that, gotta get her drunk and get her this to power. do that shit, that's some hoe shit. That's some bitch shit. That's I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. And if you out there doing that, your mom, it happened to your mom. Because there's plenty of women out there that will do that, and they know what it is, and they handle their business, and they not tricking I'm they, just saying. Then I'm those, just but those aren't the women above. those type of predators don't want, because it's not about sex. It's about power. And that's what's fucked up. And I understand the, the, the dynamic that we've been put into. The prosecutor told him he would not. I, 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 I'm, I'm agreeing with you on that. And those prosecutors need to be disbarred. You said the prosecutor told him, say, Cynthia Young yeah, and, and the prosecutor, prosecutor told him he would not prosecute and gave him a guarantee. Right. New prosecutor picked up. Yeah. Because, because it was a love. It was it, on the a fact prosecutor, that he would yes. prosecute Cosby. Okay. Because but, because what happened was from, you know, I got my ears. What does that have I to got do my. With what no, he I, did? no, I'm, I'm going to speak on that I'm halfway lightly. Don't quote me, but listen to the jewels I'm going to give you. There was some love trice going on, and there was some showmanship in the Bill Cosby situation from the sources that I deal with and get on this. I'm not going to go heavy into it because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to say it was some feelings involved in why he got prosecuted. Mm -hmm. At the same time, even though... If two the law is the true. law. Two things can be true. Yeah. The law is the law. If they told him he couldn't be prosecuted, he shouldn't have been prosecuted. Mm -hmm. But me as a man, and I mean this, as a full-blooded mandingo melanated man, and I'm not black. Except mandingo. I'm going to just tell you, if you got to do the shit he did to get a chick, fuck you. But. I'm keeping it a buck. Now, here's the but. If the conversation don't make her wet, pussy you can't get. But <laughs> he, 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 okay, I'm but, sorry Johnny for Cochran, saying what Johnny I said, Cochran, but Johnny I mean it. Cochran. But on the but on the but on the but on the serious level goes back to the point I was making is that we're holding actions that took place in the 70s. I don't give a fuck if it was in 1666. Let me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. When I was a teen and coming up, many of the older cats, mm -hmm. part of their game would be, hey, come on over. I yeah. got the weed. I got exactly. the drink. We've I all got been the weed. there. I, got... I get on, that. Let me finish, though. Go for but it. But that was a lot of the mentality. In fact, Ooh. a lot of the older players would right. be like, yeah, man, give her a drink so she come in. But Tell her kick her feet. Okay, though. I know it's not okay, but that's what remember we what taught. I said. If you, if you I said, don't have no what did game, I say? you can't finesse I said, one, you have I no morally, business. That's the what, whole thing. But what did I say? If you need all that to get a woman, like he was saying. What you I need say. a you crutch? You no need a mulligan? But what did I women, say? It you was need a morally incorrect, but it was socially how a lot of people got out. Bill took it to right. another level, but that is... How a lot? In fact, let's let's keep it let's keep it one hundred. A thousand. lot of women who was teens in the seventies and the eighties. A lot of your first sexual experience was from somebody who got you drunk or high, mm. and that's how a yeah, lot of you, men you operated in those it. days. That's the difference. When it got time to that point, mm. you were able to say, you know what, I want to go home, yes, and you know, he let you go yes, home. It wasn't you passed out mm -hmm. and off some shit, and then you wake up yeah. and your panties are down. That's yeah. different. But see, here's the you don't thing. take it's no ass. Consent. I'm sorry. I'm up, just gonna say I that. I grew up in the community. Yeah, you don't, you don't take. You so don't what take. Let you know if she is ready. If, if she's not if ready, it's not cool, I'm cool. Morally incorrect. I grew. I grew up under circumstances where. I saw women say, oh, I went over hey. there and he took advantage of me. And your daughter and said, you sound a real dust bunny. And first words out of there, 
No, I don't participate in that. I'm saying that's how a lot of people got out in those days. I can't defend that shit. I'm sorry. Tammy Graham says, Dad, you're sounding real dusty. dusty. I'm saying that's how people got down. I will not. Some of those cases used against him were more recent than that. It was the 70s. A woman has a choice not to participate, which is she's. That's it. Yeah, yeah. and I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Only only point I'm trying to say is that I I know what you're saying. The 70s and the 80s. That was how a lot of dudes operate. And that's why he's I in get that. Because and you know and, and you know when the turn He's a product of his environment. The Mike I understand Tyson, that. The Mike, okay, exactly. You see what I'm saying? And when I understand what you're saying, came, but was when Mike Tyson you, got convicted you, you, and that's when people started really different. saying Mike Tyson no means no. Fuck that. What I'm saying is that, that I think the situation with Mike Tyson was she was a debutante, she was a little on the bougie side and she didn't know what she was getting into. Yeah, but I'm and saying though a lot of people's mentalities changed. Changed after so, yeah, but you, he didn't give her yeah. drugs to make her pass But I'm just saying, though, is Shippy that young there was people that felt oh, like, oh, she came to his room no, at late night, no. she knew what was happening. Well, and you I think saying? the people sex was consensual. That. What I think happened with that was he kicked her out afterwards and she got her feelings hurt. I don't think he raped I, her. I don't think he took advantage of her. Mm-hmm. I think what happened was she thought he was going to take her to breakfast and take right. her shopping. That's what and they that do. did not happen. mentality and of if you go to a room you know what I'm talking about? but after Mike Tyson was people started really recognizing things like consent it's, everything is uh, on consent spectrum, no so. means no okay you can't take advantage of someone that's altered you cannot, that's when they woke up but a dude a like Cosby that was operating in the 80s and 70s have sex, so. they she were doesn't different. give you some I'm, kind of verbal you know what by a woman's body and her body language and what she's saying if she wants it or not. I'm gonna say this: men operated differently she, in the '60s and '70s. It does, I hear you, but problem. let's let's. It's not about how y'all operate; it's about where. Well, see, I'm, from, I'm having from the first generation let's of men who operated excuses. how you're supposed to operate. No, but them dudes no, like Cosby, no, them no, they operated no, on a whole no. different then value system because, because it was accepted and you can majority. Pay them hourly for whatever it is you want, but you don't take a young woman who. You I'm not taking nothing coming up there. that wasn't given to me mentally, physically, freely. Right. And that's just my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. That's always been my stature. Whether I'm sitting there drinking with you, chilling <laughs> yes, or not. Because really at the funny. end of the day, I want you to want me as much as I want you. I and I'm just keeping you. it a buck. I don't give a fuck who don't like what I said, dudes or whatever. You Oh, well. Yeah. Ask your chick about me. I'm pretty I'm sure I'm in her Rolodex somewhere. But <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck. That's what you call rape culture. I'm, I'm, exactly, and that ain't cool. So it is not. It's not. Because once again, I have a daughter. I have a mother. Yeah. I have a grandmother. I have that sisters. Ruins people's lives. I will, I will grind a motherfucker's bones to the fucking millicron of millicron. existence in front of a judge with a Raider hat on and and stirrups and boots if you fuck with my sister and my daughter. I'm just keeping it a buck. So I would not do that shit to some other female. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm not not built like that. I'm not raised like that. I'm not saying that when I was younger. Some brothers out here are... We didn't hang and we kicked it with chicks and was like, yeah, we got loaded and did shit. I I ain't never forced Uh, shit on nothing. What? what? Once again. (laughs) Once again. Like I said. Accountability and responsibility. That's funny. I mm-hmm. have to use that one. That's funny. That was funny. I get the mindset of when we was young, when we was trained on. I but don't. even then, if a motherfucker told me no, because to me, that's the worst thing you can get told is no. Hello. Who want to hear Ima- no? Imagine, if you told me no, imagine, imagine, my, my feelings is like, damn, okay, I ain't enough. Imagine, so I back off. Imagine if that's another that. man did that to you where you were telling him no and he was like, yeah. You getting your you, balls you, touched you, by yeah, Billy Do or some was, shit. Yeah, Keep it a buck. You signals, nigga. You was like telling me you wanted it. So how would you feel if someone just took your Right, Miss Young. Exactly. 
and and you, here's you the thing. Walking around Pharaoh at the same the gym, time, looking all good with them sweats be and all, that. with no I'll drawers under. But he, what if he overpowered you like men do? He won't them? live. He won't live to tell a soul. Saying, but he took your booty hole <laughs> first. Right, I'm he, killing but everybody. He, but he could say, I didn't even kill his you mother. Was, you was t- you was throwing it. I agree. You was teasing me. I mean, I, 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 honestly, I, I mean, we just going, crickets. we going in tonight. It's crickets. It's real. But I'm just saying, I, I, I understand what you're saying, Pharaoh. I don't. I know. I'm not saying I agree with it. No, I know what you're saying. I understand the, the what he's saying. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The they, they, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, hold on. I'm not saying that's they what... Not, you, they ain't nothing to agree with because that's not my point. I know I that. No, I'm saying what you okay. said, the perspective. I, I understand what you're saying. I'm not saying that's what you do. Yeah, let's, let's do. clarify that. That's not my point. I'm I talking understand about what, what I you're used, saying. what I grew up seeing. Once again, personally, all I can say is from... I can only speak for the okay, show. can I... Call out some of the comments right now. Go for it. So, Cynthia, and you're watching Cognac Confessionals with your host, Deshaun James, by the way, here in Oakland at where Media Meet Studio um, off Hagenberg by the airport. And why are you telling everybody where we at? Some people might try to, try to, yeah, you know, they'd be like, oh, they don't Okay, so where Media Meets. They might try to come blow us. Google that. Anyway, right. They might want to be like, So, Cynthia Young says, some. Some are like R. Kelly. If mm-hmm. you know this person has the type of reputation, why are you there? That's twofold. That's twofold. Well, situation. a predator because doesn't have a sign on his forehead that says, says predator. The, the Me Too movement changed the game. True. Cynthia mm. Young says, I can smell danger before I cross threshold. The threshold. If I don't feel right, take take flight. Take flight. Exactly. Stranger danger. Exactly. And, 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 and to piggyback on that, I get that, but unfortunately, do we, the do society we, we do live we feel, in. Do we think women should take any responsibility for being in these situations? I'm, I'm, it's a double-edged sword, yeah. to be honest. Mm-hmm. It's a double-edged sword because, mm-hmm. and I'm not defending the predator movement. Mm-hmm. I will never defend it. So what I will say is, and I'm going to try to be as, I'm going to say genuinely, but I don't want you to, take my what I say too far to the left like I'm defending right. these motherfuckers who do some right. foul shit she said R. I'm, Kelly is uh, that motherfucker children. got so that's issues that's not a good yeah that's that, R. Kelly I, is over that's here. a whole different shit this, yeah, but we but, all agree but R. here's R. the Kelly thing the only different. difference between R. Kelly and all the other motherfuckers is oh, R. Kelly got this. a record deal I got it that's the only difference children that's the uh, uh, listen to me the only <laughs> difference between R. Kelly and a lot of these motherfuckers is okay, R. Kelly got home, a record baby. deal. Bring it home. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. That's the only <laughs> fucking difference. That motherfucker got a record deal and was famous. The victim should never be blamed. True. Never. True. True. The true victim. You know what? But once you again, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Okay, but here goes the thing. Let me ask you this. Okay. R. Kelly's been sitting in jail for a couple years now. And it looks like he's he going to be sitting there for, for a couple more years. But here's the thing, and please, no one twist this into a de- like I'm defending don't R. Kelly. D- I will never defend him, but I love but, his music. No, but I'm saying don't think I'm defending Plenty of pussy But here's the thing. Excuse we me. saw R. Kelly get caught up with the sex tape, right? We saw R. Kelly get caught up with the sex tape. We saw all kinds of allegations against R. Kelly. In some kind of way, legally, he beat all those. Mm. And then turned around. A good off- and defense beats a great offense. But no, let, let's dig my point. He continued to turn around and engage in he that didn't behavior. Give a fuck. Is this a man that should be in prison or is this a man who needs help? That's I what I'm saying. I think both because he's sexually you know. abused. And, and, right. and, and by a woman. Right. So and this is a man still who's. still preaching in a church. So this is a man That's true. who. Because I mean, because the thing was, what I'm saying that, okay, what it's one thing to be like, oh, R. Kelly's a predator, right? Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. R. Who R. Kelly seems that to have been, at, one, at some point, a victim himself. And a lot True. of people who molest children and stuff were mm-hmm. touched. Yeah. You know, they say yeah, the simplistic cliches like, oh, hurt people, hurt he people. Needs time but and their a lot of victims who yeah. don't get help for their vic- for being victimized, Become and predators. in our, and in black communities, lots of times, some of these type of things men get hushed under get, the rug. Well, it gets a lot of attention for women who right. are sexually abused, but none for men. 
Yeah. So when I look at the because R. Kelly, who some kind of way, who to. some kind of way beat those original charges, R. Kelly should have been in prison a long time ago. So he beats those charges, and then it seems like he increased the volume of his activity. And I'm like, because I think he was this making, is a man that might be He was making Hill. money. Now, I think subconsciously, you know? too, when people create these type of circumstances, he wanted to be shut down and caught. I think he it was, was a part of him that... Get Needed tired and knew like somebody. Let me just I, keep acting crazy yeah. as crazy as I can be. Maybe somebody because I'm not here. To, he was I'm making not money to for the machine. Kelly, but I'm look- a total narcissist. It was like uh, it's not me. I'm looking fuck. at R. Kelly as more of. Uh, I mean, he victimized those women, but I'm looking and at I'm him afraid. as more of a damaged person than an evil person. I'm looking at the you other know? women who are not standing behind these women and co-signing because you got cash and yet, and, and we also got to look at it like this. R. Kelly had and an entire crew around him who they helped. came they out against him, him on their documentary, yeah, they but they was with it. They helped facilitate, and they probably touched some a lot shit of, too. A lot of these things. They because probably touched some shit too. You, how could you go along with his 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 horrific behavior yeah, we went for from years? Look at me too. And then suddenly oh, kids. you're on the documentary speaking against him, and I'm yelling at the screen, "You we, guilty too, blood." The yeah. In fact, and R. Kelly might have a mental illness. You, the enabler, you're the evil person because you went along with this right. I, I, horrific I understand stuff. You helped him you feed said. these appetites. I so understand. you're actually some and, of the people that enable they're some worse of the than parents him. too who pimp their daughters out. Oh, for sure they do. Like, I, I, there is no way. First of all, go on and do, do the dance all, routine. Me having three daughters, there is no way. If I knew information about R. Kelly and Aaliyah prior to that, that I would send my daughter you had people, to the studio with R. Kelly and on tour without me being there. First of all, I wouldn't even have her. But you had people, and I agree, I agree 100% with so what you said. the parents have you to had be motherfuckers. culpable as well. Exactly. They, they be the same one. Because well, the, the they thought about the money. Was, well, they were like, the court said they that thought about was, money. Right. So, it's all about money. And R. Kelly's not the only one because Sports Illustrated didn't expose that, that on Oscar daughter, De La Hoya. I would have hunted you down. Right, I mean, you wouldn't even be walking ass. right now. I don't oh, care what. Are we switch it again? Oh, my God. You wouldn't have even. Yeah, <sighs> we have touched a gamble. But the thing, thing is, is that, the thing is, is that I would be very inclined to deal violence against that team. <laughs> you know, uh, because man, and they some were. Some of the parents too need to be held accountable for child endangerment, child neglect, and child abuse. Because some of those, even like he had a whole system. Like even the people who were at were working for the like you know you can find legal records, uh, mm-hmm. public records and stuff. Even people that were working at the courts. Because sometimes when you're a journalist, and I know this, you can go and get public records mm-hmm. and do yeah. a story based on the public records. Mm-hmm. And they were paying people off who were disseminating oh. the public records so the journalists couldn't even get, get to, to find the, the cases. Of, yeah. And, that's and those what, were women. But that's you how Sports protecting. Illustrated did yeah. against Oscar De La Hoya. You Apparently in the L.A. Understand. courthouse, there's over $5 million in lawsuit settlements that Oscar De La Hoya had with underage women to the families. Yeah. And Sports Illustrated you got cannot, access you to cannot, it. it, it, it the it's records. up to the family to decide whether they want to press charges. But even the state, too, even if the family is not mm-hmm. going to press charges, it could be if they're a minor, depending on what state it is, it could be the state against R. Kelly. So he was, he mm-hmm. had, he, how well, much Oscar, money were you spending just to... Well, Oscar, they were going to spend $5 million. That's he the was a part of... And don't tell how many out of court uh, settlements, but Oscar De La Hoya has $5 million in underage women lawsuit settlements in the L.A. County Courthouse. Yeah, now, I don't know what R. Kelly's number was, but there's a lot of these guys that reach these levels. The they are sick. We can, yeah. mm-hmm. So, um, to... Yeah, because, I mean, we... We didn't even really. We started going in on our original topic, but because we're the, I know it, no, it but does, that's that's the joy of the show. Because we're talking oh, yeah. about it's free flowing. That's what I love about the show because we're not structured. And mm-hmm. We're not structured. Polygamy, we just let know, we let the conversation know. flow and it goes to where it goes. We have some points to touch on and I mean, get my yeah new glasses. You know what I'm saying? New glasses, but the vision was never a problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's yeah. deep. Um, yeah. You oh, he's saying? deep. 
Like I said, my post earlier, I said, conversation run the nation, and procrastination is a violation. If I lost a dime, I bet you I'd pick up a dollar. Oh, it's oh, Mackin. Clean. That's answering so, your question at the beginning. What's the difference between Pivot and Mackin? I ain't, I ain't either. Well, he's the epitome of I, Islam. I'm neither. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius, and I just speak the Who truth. Who's stepping to your crown, mind. black man? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Touch the ball head. No milk duds, no dents. It's milk duds. Grab it. Well, my head look like it got hit by a police car and bumper nothing. in the back, it but good it's all right, guys. though, because I like the um, ocean. So, I'm just talking shit right now, but no, nah, seriously, though. I got pretty eyes. I want to uh, thank everybody for tuning in. <laughs> you do, Tony yeah. Graham, you do. Connie, Ken, Cynthia, Cynthia Young. Uh, I mean, I'm shouting y'all out. Devon. I'm, yeah, Devon, Marie, Kenny Williams, Sean, Devon. Tommy Graham, Kenya. Tommy, a.k.a. my favorite kid. Cuzzo Helen, my cousin Ray. Who else tuning in? Lavelle. Lavelle. Tanisha, 92 crew. Hey, yeah, our, our shit next year, 30 years, 92 crew all day. Brother Bell. Damn, y'all old. I ain't old. My fuck, you graduated before me. I, was probably still in <laughs> I never smelled the graduate. aroma of a diploma, so I'm technically, yeah. I've never graduated. Dad, <laughs> Pops, Hamilton. In the building, uh, Phil, Rob, chilling tonight. Hey, I appreciate y'all. You, like I said, we was our conversation. You know, that's what I like. Us, like I said, we gotta get some more comfortable chairs. Yeah, no, this shit be so uncomfortable. I had to go home and tell my wife to. I don't like the, my oh wife my touching my butt, but yeah, I, yeah, we'll do some shit. I but hey, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, it's been a great night. Uh, we wanted y'all to tune in. I mean, uh, chime in more. I appreciate everybody that chimes in. Uh, next week, uh, I'll just say my I got a guest lined up from the murders. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just tell you that artists from the murders, Dubs and my hood. Uh, we got for next week. Um, I'd like to thank Renee. Yeah, always. I'd a like pleasure. to thank always. Renee simply for Renee being Renee. Renee, Renee is dope presence. as fuck. Her presence is is, is calming. Sit, Aww, sis, fam so is dope sweet. as fuck. Mm -hmm. You know, I got. I, I, so I'm blessed. I enjoy being with y'all here every week. I, I give my people their flowers. It's you such know. A, a a special dynamic here at the we, studio. Yeah, we 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 the shit. Yeah, we are. We've got a nice little thing going on down here. Humbly cocky. I, I hashtag that shit. Yeah, now I got the trademark, motherfucker. Don't <laughs> steal my shit. Humbly cocky. That's us, really okay. though. And I'd like to break the news that. Yeah. Blue face, Blue the face. rapper, mm -hmm. has won his bare knuckle brawl. Oh, he would be do. Oh, oh see? that I shit. I wouldn't watch it. Like, I'd no. rather. Oh man, that would be. I just, I'd, okay, I'd rather I can't watch. Deal with another one of these young brothers. I'd, I'd, I'd rather watch two oh, raccoons oh, fucking have a dumpster. The whole world in front of them like that. Than that shit. But anyway, so once again, I appreciate everybody. Uh, if you haven't liked the page, please like the page. Subscribe to the page. Share the page. You know, we do this shit. I, we do this shit every week. Out of love. Out of love for the culture, the mm -hmm. people. Um, every Friday, 6 o'clock Pacific time, East Oakland time. Uh, you can catch us here with the latest and the greatest, you know. Uh, I'd like to thank my co-host, as always, Feral Films, author, producer. Feral the most. Feral the most. The very most. Uh, A.K.A. He does too much. Tonight. Make sure y'all get ready for, for her show, Venus The Venus Lounge. Lounge, coming to y'all soon. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram, uh, Cognac underscore Confessionals. If you know my real name, maybe you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, I got a YouTube page, Cognac Confessionals. Like and share. You know, check us out. Uh, Farrell's got uh, some stuff going on next month. Vampire in Oakland. Vampire in Oakland screening yeah, coming. We Everybody got that needs jumping to come off. Out and see it. When is the screening? It, next month. August we got 19th. The dates. August oh, 19th. Tommy T. Oh, Tommy T. Man, I'm not That's what we here. doing. Where you going to be? You know, be it's a lot going on. Nicaragua. I like how she says it. <laughs> you y'all could be doing anything in the oh, world, really? but y'all choose to sit here and uh partake in what we doing. And I appreciate it. 
you know, real talk, talking. love and light. Driving screening. Now you talking. And we doing? Some women be dressed like. I got to do another game night talking to see my camera go. Yeah. But as usual. And we'll have like Bloody Marys. And now like, it's time to say goodbye to all of my Negro, Negro friends. friends. I appreciate y'all. Love and light.